Ma'asim, Acts 2. And when the day of Shavuot was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven, as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Ruach HaKadosh, and began to speak with other tongues as the Ruach gave them utterance. And there were dwelling at Yerushalayim, Yaudim, devout, devout men out of every nation under heaven. Now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileem? And how hear we every man in our own tongue wherein we were born? Parthians and Madai and Elaim, rather Elamim, and the dwellers in Aram, Naharaim, and Yaud, and Cappadocia, in Pontus, and Asia, Phrygia, and Pamphylia, in Mitzrayim, and in the parts of Libya, and rather about Cyrene, and strangers of Rome, Yaudim, and proselytes, Cretes, and Avrim, rather, Aravim, we do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of Yah. And they were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another, What does this mean? Others mocking said, These men are full of new wine. But Kepha, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them, Ye men of Yaud, and all ye that dwell at Yerushalayim, be this known unto you, and hearken to my words. For these are not drunken, as ye suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Yoel. And it shall come to pass, in the last days, says Yahuwah, I will pour out at my Ruach upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out in those days of my Ruach, and they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before that great and terrible day of Yahuwah come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of Yahuwah shall be saved Ye men of Yah Shara'el, hear these words. Yahusha, the Netzari, a man approved of Yah, among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which Yahuwah did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. Him being delivered by the determinate counsel and foreknowledge of Yah, Ye have taken, and by wicked hands have crucified and slain, whom Yahuwah has raised up, having loosed the pains of death, because it was not possible that he should be held of it. 
for David speaks concerning him. I foresaw Yahuwah always before my face, for he is on my right hand, that I should not be moved. Therefore did my heart rejoice, and my tongue was glad. Moreover also my flesh shall rest in hope, because you will not leave my soul in Sheol, neither will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the ways of life. You shall make me full of joy with your countenance. Men and brethren, let me freely speak unto you of the patriarch David, that he is both dead and buried, and his sepulchre is with us unto this day. Therefore, being a prophet, and knowing that Yah had sworn with an oath to him, hath that of the fruit of his loins, according to the flesh, he would raise up Hamashiach to sit on his throne. He, seeing this before, spoke of the resurrection of Hamashiach, that his soul was not left in Sheol, neither his flesh did see corruption. This Yahusha has Yahua raised up, therefore, we all are witnesses. Therefore, being by the right hand of Yah exalted, and having received of the Father the promise of the Ruach HaKadosh, he has shed forth this, which ye now see and hear. For David is not ascended into the heavens, but he said himself, Yahuwah said unto my Adonai, Sit on my right hand, until I make your foes your footstool. Therefore, let all the house of Yah Shadael know assuredly that Yahuwah has made that same Yahusha whom ye have crucified, both Yahuwah and Mashiach. Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Kepha and to the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? And Kepha said unto them, Repent, and be immersed every one of you in the name of Yahua, Yahusha, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Ruach HaKadosh. For the promise is unto you, and to your children, and to all that are afar off, even as many as Yahua Eloheinu shall call. And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this perverse nation. Then they that gladly received his word were immersed, and the same day they were, rather there were added unto them about three thousand souls. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And all that believed were together and had all things common and sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men as every man had need. And they, continuing daily with one accord in the temple, and breaking bread from house to house, did eat their food with gladness and singleness of heart, praising at Yahuwah, and having favor with all the people. And Yah added to the called-out assembly daily such as should be saved.